I do not believe in taking the right decision. I take a decision and make it right. Think a hundred times before you take a decision, but once that decision is taken, stand by it as one man. Expect the best, prepare for the worst. Democracy is in the blood of the Muslims who look upon complete equality of mankind and believe in fraternity, equality and liberty. With faith, discipline and selfless devotion to duty, there is nothing worthwhile that you cannot achieve. Any idea of a united India could never have worked and in my judgment it would have led us to terrific disaster. Failure is a word unknown to me. My message to you all is of hope, courage and confidence. No struggle can ever succeed without women participating side by side with men. No nation can rise to the height of glory unless your women are side by side with you. The press is a great power and it can do good as well as harm. If rightly conducted, it can guide and instruct public opinion. My message to you all is of how courage and confidence let us mobilize all our resources in a systematic and organized way and tackle the grave issues that confront us with the grim determination and discipline worthy of a great nation. My message to you all is of hope, courage and confidence. Settlement with the majority is possible as no Hindu leader speaking with any authority shows any concern or genuine desire for it. You have to stand guard over the development and maintenance of Islamic democracy. Islamic social justice and the equality of manhood in your own native soil. Come forward as servants of Islam, organize the people economically, socially, educationally and politically and I am sure that you will be a power that will be accepted by everybody. I sincerely hope that the relations between India and Pakistan will be friendly and cordial. We have a great deal to do and think that we can be of use to each other and to the world.
I have nothing to do with this pseudo religious approach that Gandhi is advocating. Pakistan not only means freedom and independence but the Muslim ideology which has to be preserved which has come to us as a precious gift and treasure and which we hope other will share with us. Islam expect every Muslim to do this duty and if we realize our responsibility time will come soon when we shall justify ourselves worthy of a glorious past. I have lived as plain Mr. Juna and I hope to die as plain Mr. Juna. I am very much averse to any little or honors and I will be more than happy if there was no prefix to my name. If you will work in cooperation, forgetting the past, burying the hatchet, you are bound to succeed. It is only with united effort and faith in our destiny that we shall be able to translate the Pakistan of our dreams into reality. There is no power on earth that can undo Pakistan. I insist you strive, work, work and only work for satisfaction with patience, humbleness and serve the nation. I am not going to respect grey hairs unless there is wisdom beneath them. No settlement with the majority is possible as no Hindu leader speaking with any authority shows any concern or a genuine desire for it. Religion should not be allowed to come into politics. Religion is merely a matter between man and God. You are free to go to your mosques or to any other place of worship in this state of Pakistan. Nations who love and sacrifice for their countries find the honorable place in history. <laughs>